Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to handle errors in AWS serverless applications. Alright, we will use AWS Step Functions and AWS Lambda. Well, in this video we will see how to use AWS Step Functions to handle workflow runtime errors. AWS Step Functions is a serverless orchestration service that lets you easily coordinate multiple Lambda functions. Well, if you create a function, they can fail occasionally, such as when an unhandled exception is raised, when they run longer than the configured timeout, they can hang or when they run out of memory. Writing and maintaining error handling logic is in every one of your Lambda functions to handle situations such as API throttling or socket timeouts can be time intensive and complicated. To avoid this, we will reduce the amount of error handling code we write. You can use AWS step functions to create a workflow like we created in one of the previous videos. That's supposed to function error handling. Regardless of whether the error is a function exception created by the developer or unpredicted. Let's design and run a serverless workflow using AWS step functions that will gracefully handle the errors. We will create an AWS Lambda function which will mock call to a RESTful API and returns various response codes and exceptions. Then we will use step functions to create state machine with retry and catch capabilities. It's going to be very interesting. So create a Lambda functions to mock an API. Let's go to our Lambda console. Make sure that you are logged in onto the Amazon console. Then under services, search Lambda and open up the Lambda function. Click on create a function, create a function. Then function name would be mock API function. Python 3.6 under runtime. Then click on custom role. Create a new rule with base here. Rule name would be Lambda Basic Execution. Remove a space. Policy templates will be AWS. Let me come back. Why don't we just create a role here? So go to IAM. Under roles, create a new role. Lambda permissions. State of access. You can change it. Lambda basic execution. Create the role. Wonderful, come here. Existing Lambda basic execution. Click on create function. Wonderful. We will copy this Python code paste under the lambda function section click on save now we'll make sure that we copy the arn to be used in step functions first we have to go to iam again to create a role under roles step functions would be here no it is not like that Attach permission policy. The role name would be step. There you go. Create a role. Perfect. Now our new IAM role is created. Now we will create a create a step function state machine. We all know how to do that. Go to step functions. Get started. Click on state machine, create a state machine, author with code snippets, type the name of your state machine, my API state machine, use, I will use an existing role,
copy this json here make sure that you do not miss anything like i forgot that extra curly braces here you are now make sure that in the resource section we will paste our lambda function ar so that it calls the right function start hello world and next existing role step functions basic execution create the state machine my state machine is successfully created now we'll test it click on start execution type in this this is a new execution dialog box appears like here it says where you can enter input for your state machine you will play the part of the api and supply the error code that we want the mock api to return so uh let's say you do this run execution is stayed it says start call api it calls this api which is my lambda function and in okay it says input is my 200 okay output is the request has succeeded there is no exception you can use the execution event history here and in the visual you can see the execution so that it was 200 and then it was nothing bad in it the function got ended so let's say you want to do this again so you can say new execution let's do with 404 start the execution it failed start call an api it caught an error my lambda function this lambda function caught an error is there is too many okay so this would run okay let me start with start again new execution 200 was okay 503 let's use 503 start the execution failed server unavailable because my input was this the output is server unavailable exception server unavailable the server is currently unable to handle the request state machines click on here you can have an event rulers here as well executions have done it one are failed one is failed one is success two is failed you can have the mock history here this is how you catch an error using the step functions and the servers workflow so i hope this was informative for all of you guys please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any feedback please mention in the comment section and uh, share the video and do not forget to subscribe it i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye have a great day